The Massacre of 1,000 Filipino Moros in Bud Dajo On March 7, 1906, U.S. troops under the command of Major General Leonard Wood massacred as many as 1,000 Mindanaan Muslims, known as Moros, who were taking refuge at Bud Dajo, a volcanic crater on the island of Holo in southern Mindanao. The Bud Dejo massacre was a counterinsurgency action fought by the United States Army against revolutionary Moros who said responsible for sporadic violence and refusal to pay taxes to the newly established American government in Holo, Sulu. In the battle, 18 Americans lost their lives and another 52 were wounded. Wood estimated the number of enemies dead at 600, including women and children although some estimates ran as high as 900. Corpses were piled five deep, and many of the bodies were wounded multiple times. President Theodore Roosevelt sent with a congratulatory telegram, and Secretary of War William Howard Taft in Manila also approved despite having been viewed controversially by the U.S. press to see it a little more than a massacre, particularly given the deaths of so many noncombatants. The controversy soon died down, as local Datis and the Sultan of Sulu, a religious leader of the region, believed that the action at Bud Dejo would bring about long-term stability. Nevertheless, Moro resistance continued, leading to another Bud Dejo campaign in 1911 and the Battle of Bud Bagsak in June 1913. In 2016, the incident was brought up by President Duterte criticizing America and President Obama, leading to a cancellation of a planned meeting with U.S. President Obama. Duterte apologized the next day. Duterte cited the incident a second time in criticizing America while calling for the exit of American troops.